Hi, so I wanna share something with you guys on how to edit videos uh, smoothly in Premiere Pro um, without any hiccups, especially when you're editing uh, big files or raw files. You know, sometimes it can be very, very uh, stressful to your computer, your machine and everything. So stay tuned and I'm gonna share with you on how you do it. Booyah. So my name is Davis and welcome back and I'm a music video director. So uh, before I share with you guys on how you can do it, on how you can edit those big files in Premiere Pro smoothly, please uh, subscribe to Zim Afro TV and make sure you click the little bell icon so that next time when I upload new videos, you get notification. All right, that's stuff out of the way. All right, so let's go in our Premiere Pro and uh, already, as you can see in my Premiere Pro here, I already have my file that was shaped by Blackmagic Raw, as you can see. So I wanna change this file into, um, into a proxy file. Those are lighter versions of, uh, of the same files that you can use uh, to edit your videos smoothly. Mm. So in this case, I wanna show you uh, this file before, uh, the proxy in all right so this is the file as you can see okay as you can see it's choppy already it, it's choppy see as you can see it's choppy but uh as you can see but now we need to make sure that this file this same file is uh uh is smooth when we edit it right so what you do you come here right and you go where it says proxy then say create proxies. But in this case now, you would see that you, you when you do this, you won't find this. This this one is a big, why? Because this one is a customized uh, uh, proxy. So you have to create uh, this pro, uh, uh, customized proxy. So to do it, you have to go to uh, media encoder. So we cancel this one. You have to go to media encoder, right? This is where you can create proxy file from. This is our media encoder. So right, so when you go to media encoder, you go where it says now, uh, where it says presets, right? Then you say create uh, encoding, right? There we go. So now this one, we can name it later. We'll just leave it there. So the format that we need, uh, so the format that we need as we need uh, quick time, right? As you can see, you go right down there, it says quick time. This one based on, um, right. So this one, to make it a little bit easier, you go on uh, GoPro Cinem, uh, uh, Cinem, Cinem form UV 10 bit, right? Then make sure that for comments, you just leave it blank. Then make sure that your video and uh, video export and audio export are clicked, right? Then you go to, to your video settings, video codec. You want to make sure that you uh, select uh, a GoPro Cinem form, right? There we go. That's the one you make sure that it's there. The reason why you want um, this uh, GoPro Cinem form is it's not heavy on the machine and it uh, makes it a little bit easy when you add it right so then you go down to basic video settings you have to make sure that the quality you put it all the way to one all the way to one because these remember these are going to be proxy files so you don't care much about the quality of of the videos you just want to make it easier for you when you edit all right so we go down then when it calls where it says the the width the width we're gonna customize it we have to customize this one so you're gonna put uh 1280 right then the height of the video you're gonna put uh 720. all right so we're gonna leave uh right frame rate we're gonna leave it like that then food order uh we're gonna go and tick this one we're gonna put progressive right then uh, aspect aspect we're gonna put uh because we're gonna select uh square pixels 
uh, 1.0 because most cameras they shoot in that form anyway from videos you have to go on effect so on effects you have to go on uh, image overlay right on image overlay if you have a logo or a proxy file uh, logo you can this is when you you, you have to upload uh, the, the the picture or the photo right so for me i'm gonna look for it it's in my ba -ba -bam, in my document right so the other thing that you also want to make sure that you, where, where you want to put where do you want it where do you want to place uh your so for me i normally like it on on the top right corner that's that's where i like mine anyway so that I, whenever i'm working on, on on my proxy file or on my file i can see um yeah, or differentiate which one are the proxy, which one are not the proxies, or which one are the original files. And uh, well, I mean, so that I can um, differentiate between the proxies and the original files. All right, and everything else, you leave it like that. Okay, everything else you don't touch. You know? So let's just check to see if we've done everything. Right, so on the customs, right on the on the best preset best preset you have to go all the way gopro cineform uv uh, 10 bit okay so on the preset name we need to rename that one so cinem form 12 80 remember the, the height and the, uh the height of the video and the width all right times 720 720 uh like in my case that video that i showed you was 60 frames per second so fpc oh, this one i also i also use it when you on any 60 frames per second video that i would have that's it let's just double check everything is good then we say okay right now after we have done this one we need to go on our user preset so now there you can see uh our our, our proxy we just created it but now we need to create a transcode that can be read by um premiere pro so we, now we go there we, then you say create an ingest right so as you can see the unmanned settings here uh that we need to do our preset name we have to name is in name form uh, 1280 uh, by 720 60 FPC 60 frames per second uh, quality one watermarked but now because this one we are creating an ingest file so so that the one that can be processed by um, uh, Premiere Pro and also it will be easier for us to be able to distinguish between the one for media encoder and the one for Premiere Pro okay so we have to write ingest for ingest files right for comments we don't put anything copy files to destination we don't even touch it then transcode uh, files to destination make sure that this one is ticked however you don't have to get worried about um about the uh, where it's gonna be saved because each time you have files uh they are automatically saved to the original uh next to the original files all right format make sure it's quick time all right and the preset make sure that it's uh, the one that we just created okay and then you click okay after you have done this you need to know where this file is uh is served all right so you just have left click all right then you say reveal file all right so now we know where our file is uh served right now let's go back to premiere pro so for this video we want to create uh, a proxy file right here we go so let's go where it says proxy then say create proxies right now we say in add ingest right so now we have, we, we we know where this oh, that file remember the file that you said you have to know where it's 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 located right or where it's served right so okay let's go it's an adobe right it's because it's under presets in media encoder right we click on media encoder presets and there we go there is our file we just created this one 
all right so we just click it and open it there we go and so as you can see now all the settings remember what i said that you don't have to get worried on where it's gonna say now it's gonna be saved next to the original file uh in the folders next to the original file so you don't have to go look around okay where is my 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 proxy file but now you, you cannot tell whether the, the 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 proxy file has been created now also we, we need to find if that proxy file has been created okay. as you can see our video is still choppy right so it has to be smooth because we just created a proxy file for this one so you have to come here right uh, if you don't see this sign you come here right then you look for it then you just drop it over here okay so like in this case then we'll say okay then create okay, there you go boom there you go proxy so now if i play this video it has to go smooth as you can see very smooth and happy editing and that's it now to be able to tell which one's a proxy which one is original so this one is the original file so if i click here now right it will show me uh the proxy uh file uh logo here that one the one that i just created so if i click play you see the video sub should play smoothly very smooth when you export the video it will export the uh, the good quality video this is only for you to be able to to play back and uh, to see your video what you editing so this is how you create proxy files and this can make uh, a life a little bit easier and uh, editing a little bit faster and smoother and uh, thank you very much for watching zim afro tv and uh, make sure that you subscribe and you click the little bell icon so that next time when i upload new videos you get notification